Hello, everyone. I haven't made a video in a long time, but I had to come and say something. And please bear with me while I get all of this out that I have to say. This presidential election is causing so much to happen. I can't tell you the amount of negative comments I've seen, all of the things that are happening to people across this nation. It's it's heartbreaking. And, you know, I had to sit for a minute and, and ask God, what what is going on? What is really happening? What are you telling us? Because, see, sometimes things happen and we miss it because we're so caught up or distracted in the things that we see that we miss the message. Well, I don't want anybody to miss this message about what is happening in our nation today. First of all, I must say that God is calling things into order. For a long time now, America has decided that it can do whatever it wants to do. God says, no, that's not going to happen anymore. There has been sin that has been celebrated, that has been welcomed in. God says, no, we're not going to do that anymore. You see, God created us with free will. We can do whatever we want to do, but we have to understand that there will be consequences if it's done and it's not in line with what he purposes us to do. For too long, America has set different standards, standards that God has not ordained to be so. He is calling those things back into order. There has been a standard that has been lifted and we no longer have permission to sin and to do whatever we want to do. Because see, the dangerous part of that is, is that we think it's okay. It is not okay. Yes, we all sin. We all fall short. I understand that. But are we going to God and asking him to cleanse us, asking him to restore us? If America says it's okay, then we may not go to God with what we struggle with. That's changing. Any kind of thing that you do that is not according to his will, he wants you to be seeking him in that because he loves you and he wishes that none perishes. But if sin has become okay, many will perish. He's setting things in order. For too long, we have depended on other people, other systems, to provide for us, to protect us. And God says no more. He's calling people back to himself. So if he has to remove every bit of stability in this nation that you think you have in order for you to see that he is God and he is the only one who provides for you, that's what will happen. Sometimes he has to sweep the whole rug from underneath us in order for us to understand who he is and to only trust in him. It's time. The other thing I want to mention to you today is Trump. <laughs> if we look at the name Donald Trump and his vice president, Mike Pence, Trump Pence, Trump Pence, the trumpets are sounding. The trumpet is sounding. Can you hear it? What's happening right now is a great separation. God is separating people and it's not the type of separation that you may think I'm talking about where we're, we're separating the haves from the have nots or the minorities from the majority. It's not even that. What we see happening in the earth right now is a manifestation of what is happening in the spirit. There is a separation, but it has nothing to do with your skin color. It has nothing to do with your religion, your sexual preference. It has nothing to do with that. God is separating his people from the people who are not his. Those who have turned their hearts to him and those who have not. That is the separation. That's why you see so-called Christian people who are doing all these crazy things because it's a separation happening. When this presidential election uh, results came out, people came up out of the woodworks doing all kind of crazy stuff. Stuff that you wouldn't even imagine that they would ever do because they're being revealed. 
people are being revealed for who they really are. We see two things happening. We see some rising up to create more unity, more love, more initiatives to try to reach out to these people who are hurting. And then we see people rising up with lawlessness and hatred. Hearts are being revealed, folks. The separation is taking place. Don't miss it. The trumpet is sounding. The return of Christ is not far away. I don't know how long it is. I'm not, that ain't for me to say, but I know it's not long. Don't miss what's happening. Don't get caught up in the whirlwind of Trump, Trump. It ain't even about Trump. He's a mere instrument to what is happening right now. Don't miss it. Right now, what we need to be doing is falling back in love. Or falling in love if you've never done it before with God. Seeking him. Understanding his ways and, and what's really happening in this earth. Open your eyes not to what you see physically, but what's happening in the spirit. God loves every single person on this earth. And he wants us to show them that love, give them that hope more than ever right now. Because as I said before, he wishes that none would perish. The best thing you can do right now is to pray for your people who are living in sin, including yourself. Because this is not a game. It's not a joke. It's not just something that we should brush off. Pay attention. Pay attention to what's happening. Now, this is all that I have for you today, but I'm sure there'll be more as things come up. But just remember, the trumpets is sounding. Wake up. Wake up.